Thank you for bearing with us. Um, and thank you for joining us today for this webinar on the agricultural resources offered through the State Library of Florida. And again, uh, I'm your presenter, Isabella Fulmer. I'm the Florida Collection and Outreach Librarian at the State Library, and my responsibilities include outreach, um, so developing webinars um, and other uh, outreach materials to uh, inform our core clientele of the services and information that we offer. Uh, additionally, I am responsible for collection development of our Florida Special Collection, which includes um, Spanish law books, historical maps, uh, and all things Floridiana, relating, you know, materials relating to the history and culture of Florida. And additionally, I uh, tackle our reference questions on a daily basis. So for those of you who don't know, the State Library is um, within the Division of Library and Information Services under the Department of State. Um, and I'll go ahead. And today's topics that we'll be covering um, will be how to access scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles um, through several agricultural data databases. I'll also show you how to access magazine and trade journal articles, as well as some other agricultural information within our holdings. So our services include specialized research assistance. You can send us an email or call us um, with any reference questions you might have if you are putting together a report and need a bit more of, um, you know, like a assistance with your literature search. You can just let us know and we'll help you out with that. Um, we also offer an interlibrary loan service and digital content service. Um, we also offer 24-7 access to databases. And I'm going to start by showcasing our agricultural information portal. So here is our agricultural information portal, which we've put together. And the first database that I will walk you through on the right hand side here is the ProQuest Agricultural and Environmental Science uh, database. So let's run a little test search here for um, cultivation of tomatoes in Florida and just see what So we get 2013 results. Um, and that's way, way too many to digest. So what you'll do is you'll run some um, limiters. And what those are are um, these items on the left hand side just to uh, limit your search results. So with the limiters for full text, we see that we get 1,700 results, a little over 1,700 results. And when we also um, limit the results to full text as well as peer-reviewed articles, we get a little over 1,100. And then we can also filter by date range. So if you really just want the most recent material, um, basically, you know, January 2019 to basically present. Um, just the past year, you only get 70 results. So let's go ahead and click on that first article. Okay, so at the top, we have the parts of this article here. Um, we have the title, the author, the journal title, um, and the volume and issue. In the year, the year, and then the page, oops, the page range um, that that would be in the physical journal. And you'll see to the top right here that you have the ability to cite this article. Um, so if you were to click on this little citation feature here, um, then you could export the citation in any format you need, like Chicago or APA, what have you. And this one is a full text article, so you can you know, read the entire thing through ProQuest and you can download the PDF if you so choose. 
So let's run another practice search. Um, and this time we'll search for information on soil composition in Florida. Okay, and we'll also use the peer reviewed limiter here and click the first result. Okay, so you'll see that this is set up similarly to the last article, um, except for there is not the option for full text. Um, so what we'll have to do instead is click the full text finder option right here which um, we don't have this particular article in our holdings. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go back and select instead request this item through interlibrary loan. And that will bring up our interlibrary loan form, which basically just means that if it's not in our library, we run a search, we the librarians run a search to find the nearest library that would have this material we put in a request and obtain that material for you, and then we can email it to you. And then uh, you just fill in all of your, your, um, your information, your name, your state library card number, your email address, everything. And if you encounter any difficulties with it or have any questions about the service, you can reach our ILL coordinator, Sarah Shaw, and her email address is listed there. Okay, so for our next search, we're going to try to find a dissertation and we'll try searching for dissertations on Florida cucumbers. You can see that the applied filter here that we've used is dissertations and theses and that brings up um, 351 results and you'll notice that all of these are offered through the ProQuest Dissertations Publishing Service and um, they are all downloadable. The full text is available to you. So that's pretty much, I think we've covered the Agricultural and Environmental Science collection. So we'll go ahead and move on back to the Agricultural Portal. Okay. So I should mention that um, this Agricultural Portal is available through the State Library catalog, online catalog. And once you click on these databases, you will be, um, and you're trying to access them, you will be prompted for your state library card number. So that's just a heads up. Um, you'll need that information handy. And if you don't already have a state library card, I will um, provide information on how to obtain one towards the end of the presentation. But uh, for now, we'll go ahead and cover the one file agricultural database from Gale, which is offered um, through the Florida Electronic Library also under the Division of Library and Information Services. Okay, so this is another handy agricultural da database. Um, and some of these articles that you'll find through Gale will also be featured on the previous database that we um, do, and others will be exclusive to this database. Um, so it's best to check a few, a variety of sources when you're doing your literature search, when you're putting together your reports. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started and we will look for some articles relating to marketing within the field of agriculture. Okay, so you'll see we have pulled up an overwhelming amount of information. We have over 100,000 uh, magazine articles, including trade journals. And we also find um, over 13,000 academic journal articles. And we have already reviewed a little bit the structure of an academic journal article. Um, and we see some other headings, including books, news articles, images, and relevant videos. Um, and just to test it out, we will check this first article about fundamental grain marketing skills. So similar setup to what we saw on the previous database, Agricultural and Environmental Science. Um, you'll see the publication date here, February 20th. Um, you will find the source, Western Farm Press, the publisher, Penton Media. Uh, you'll find the author, Melanie Bloom here. And the entire text of the article, the full text, is available to read online. But one file has uh, a pretty unique 
feature, which is that you can, rather than just downloading it as a PDF, you can actually export this article directly to your Google Drive account or your um, Microsoft OneDrive. Um, either of those are options right here um, in this right corner. Um, just make sure that if you're going to use this option to save the, the information that you're already logged in to um, Google Drive or OneDrive. Um, and of course, you can still email the article to yourself or just download it as a PDF. So we'll return to the results. Okay, so now for um, this little search, we'll, we'll check and see what which academic reports are available. Okay. And we'll click that first article and we'll see it's the same situation as before. You have your information such as the title, the author, the journal, the publication date. You can read the full text of this article online. I'll say that academic journal articles tend to be longer than a magazine article or a trade journal article. Um, and that is the agricultural collection. So we'll go ahead and move on to the Science Direct database, which I'm really excited to present to you because this is a new subscription that the State Library has gotten within, uh, I would say, the past two or three months. Um, and it's incredibly comprehensive. Um, but unlike the previous two that I just showed you, um, you can't access this one through the Agricultural Portal. This one you will access through the State Library's Electronic Databases page. Um, so if you were on the DOS website, um, or the State Library website, you'll you'll see the URLs below. Um, on the Services for State Employees page, you'll click search for databases and end up here. You will need to preemptively enter your the last six digits of your State Library card number up at the top here. Um, and incidentally, all of these all of the databases that the State Library or DLIS offers subscription access to can be found on this page as well. We've just compiled a lot of the agricultural related sources into the agricultural portal. Um, let's see. And so you'll just, they're all arranged alphabetically, so you'll scroll down to Science Direct once you've entered the last six digits of your State Library card number on that page. And for our first test of Science Direct, we'll, we'll test searching um, citrus propagation in Florida. And I'll just briefly run over why I believe Science Direct is a really excellent resource um, for all manner of science topics. It, it actually includes like 16 million articles within the fields of physical sciences, engineering, um, life sciences, and even social sciences. So it's not really restricted to any one particular area, um, and you'll find plenty of material um, relating to agricultural science on here. Okay, so when we search for citrus propagation in Florida, we'll see that it closely resembles the previous two databases we've reviewed. We get 586 results, and of course you can use these filters on the left-hand side um, to narrow down your results by year, um, you know, you probably want the latest information or at least material within the past 10 years or so. Um, and you can also filter by art article type, um, specific publication and more. Um, so if you only wanted results from one particular journal. Um, and then if the full text of the article that you need isn't available here, you can request that article through the state library. So we'll go ahead and review how to request materials, including books and articles, through the State Library. Oh, and again, here is, you know, when you click on the first article, it's the same, same sort of setup. You can download the PDF, you'll have um, the journal title, the author, author's name, uh, the publication date, and page range. So for book delivery, or really just desktop delivery in general, we do it for books. We also offer that service for articles. You'll return to the agricultural information portal. And you 
it'll just be under getting started. You'll select book delivery. And once you do so, you will um, be greeted by this form. And you'll just fill out, if you're looking for a particular book that um, we maybe don't have at the State Library, if you've searched our online catalog, you weren't able to find it, um, but you've seen it cited in other sources that you've been um, using in your research. Again, we can get that through um, in our, our interlibrary loan service for you. Um, so you'll just fill this form out as completely as you can um, with your name, your agency, um, everything, how you would like to receive your item. Special note, if you are teleworking right now, as I know that many state employees are right now in April of 2020, um, we are currently offering a service to send books to your home office rather than um, what we typically offer would be desktop delivery to your office in your state agency. Um, so just for now, under extenuating services, we can deliver to your home office. Okay, and if you go back to the agricultural information portal and select article delivery under getting started, um, you'll find a very similar email. Articles, we will, even if it's in a physical format, we'll scan and send it to you once we receive that information via interlibrary loan. Um, so again, just fill it out, fill the form out as completely as you can um, if you an article that you haven't been able to find the full text of online, we can get that to you. All right, so now I'll get into our table of contents service. If you'll just return to the agricultural information portal, we'll select table of contents. And what that is, is basically the state library subscribes to a number of popular magazines as well as trade magazines. Um, so you'll see that we subscribe to The New Yorker, The Smithsonian, Time, Harper's, National Geographic, and a number of magazines within the field of science and technology. So um, what we can do for you is you'll just fill out your name, your email address, agency name, and your state library card number into this form. Select all of the magazines that you are interested in. And what we'll do on a weekly basis is when we get new issues in, we will scan the table of contents of that magazine or um, trade journal for you. And you can go ahead and select uh, which articles within that table of contents you would like to, for us to scan and send to you and we'll go ahead and scan specific articles. Um, so it's just a really great way to even save money if you, you know, might ordinarily be subscribing to these at your home. Um, we can just scan and send the articles you're interested in to you. Great, and then none of this is possible without your state library card. Um, so if you don't already have a state library card or if you think you need to renew it, um, you can do so um, through our website. If we return to the Agricultural Information Portal, you'll just select Get Your State Library Card at the top left corner here. And you'll just fill it out as completely as possible. Um, and then if you don't receive a response from us within three working days, um, then you can just contact our circulating or, or contact our lending services section and um, we will work it out with you. But we can just send, we'll basically send you um, your, your library card number and you can use that remotely from home um, basically immediately. So if there are any questions, uh, I'll be glad to answer those. And, and seeing none, I'd just like to thank you for attending um, this webinar from the State Library of Florida. If you have any questions um, just later down the line, feel free to shoot them to us at uh, info at dos.myflor.com or call the reference desk at the number shown. Additionally, um, you can contact. So we have one. We do have a question. How often do you need to renew? 
I believe it is annually. I'll have to just double check, but um, we send you an email alert when it is time to renew. So um, you should be prompted um, by, by an email. And thank you so much for asking. Alrighty. And what is the turnaround time on a requested book or article? Okay, thank you for that question. That really just depends on the amount of time it takes for us to get it from the institution that we request it from. Um, if it's a little bit further away and it's a physical item like a book, um, then you know that's a little bit restricted by mail delivery time. Um, but I would say it's probably about a week. Um, and if you are experiencing any sort of delay, you can talk to our ILL specialist, Sarah Shaw. How about for a, uh, a table of contents article that you'd like? Oh, that would be probably within two business days at the, at the max, I would say. And then do we have info on aquaculture? We absolutely do. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any publication titles um, in our holdings, but we do have material, we do have like reports on aquaculture within our State Library Online catalog. And then there's going to be plenty of those same articles within any of the um, databases I've shown you, including ScienceDirect. Okay, no, there is not a maximum limit on articles. Um, so just, you know, we're ready for them. Go ahead and request away. All right, well, thank you so much for attending. And again, the, the email address and the phone number that are on the screen, you can submit your reference questions to that as well. So again, if you have need help with a literature search, um, just shoot us a question at info at dos.myflora.com and we'll get back to you pretty promptly, um, usually within one business day with our results. And uh, feel free also if you need um, to get, get a hold of us on the phone uh, to call us at the number provided. We have um, a link to our table of content service um, on several places, like on our um, alerts page, on our webpage within the DLIS website. We also have access to that through our online catalog as well as within the agricultural information portal. And I'll just say that all of the links to those places are included throughout the, the presentation and those slides are coming to you. And also we will have a recording uh, available later on YouTube. So all of this information, don't worry if you didn't have time to jot it all down, um, we'll be able to send out the slides and information to you. Thank you very much.